Hey kids, how are you doing? Today, Teacher Lu has a story to tell you. Um, I think you know it. The Three Little Pigs. It's a famous and classic story. Let's start. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs that decided to leave the pigsty to live in the forest. They were brothers and got on very well. Only one thing worried them, the wolf, who was always nearby ready to eat them. That's why each of them decided to build his own house in order to have a safe place to live. Since the youngest pig had no clue about building and was more interested in playing, he ran to pick up some straw from a nearby wheat field in order to make his hut. You see his hut? It was ready in an afternoon. The hut didn't have windows but had a door, you see a door, and a crooked tin chimney uh, that gave it a very modern look. The middle brother had a godfather who was a carpenter and had taught him how to work with wood. He borrowed a few nails and tools from him and then cut some wood from fallen tree branches in the forest. It took him many days to finish his house, you see? But it paid off. It was really nice with the wood nailed and painted. The eldest brother had always wanted to be an engineer and knew a lot about building. That's why he drew up a plan, bought bricks, cement, tiles for the roof, and many more materials. He worked non-stop, many weeks, and in the end, his house was the most beautiful of the tree. It even had a bathroom with a shower. When the three houses were done, the little pigs cooked a delicious meal and sat down to celebrate. I think, brothers, said the eldest, that you should reinforce your houses. The wolf could destroy them very easily. Maybe, answered the middle brother, but let's do that next week. Before that, I have to make a football field to play with my friends. And I, continued the youngest, I have to play with our cousins in the pig's time. The wolf, who was spying on the brothers as usual, heard all of the conversation. I will have to hurry to catch these delicious little pigs, he thought before they reinforce their houses. I can't miss this opportunity. The wolf silently followed the youngest pig and waited by hiding outside the pig's tie. When the little pig left, the wolf tried to jump on him, but he calculated very badly and leaped too far and his lunch managed to run away. The little pig ran as fast as he could. When he was about to fall exhausted, he reached his house, locked the door and hid under the table. Ha 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 ha, laughed the wolf from outside. Do you think that you are safe in this little hut? Boy, he went on, if you don't get out now, it will end badly for you. I will huff and puff and blow your house.
comes down. Then I'll eat you. The wolf liked creating rhymes when he was happy. The sillier, the better. He breathed in blue and blue, and the house fell down. The little pig was so scared that he ran to the closest house. It was his middle brother's. The wolf ran after him, but he couldn't catch him because the brothers closed the door just in time. To make things worse, the wolf crashed into the door because he couldn't stop and ended up breaking his snout. What now? he screamed. What do you think, you little pigs? You won't escape because I will huff and puff and blow the house down. Then I'll eat you. And that's what he started to do. With the second puff, the roof flew off. With the fourth, it was the doors and windows turn. And with the sixth puff, the walls fell down. The brothers got away before the wolf could, could catch them. Running as fast as they could, they got to their eldest brother's house. They went in, and after locking everything, they stacked all the furniture against the front door. The three were trembling, afraid of what might happen to them. This time, the wolf huffed and puffed, but the brick house, he didn't blow down. And then the pigs, who were peeping through a crack, saw the bad wolf coming with the ladder. He wanted to climb to the roof, so as to go inside the house through the chimney. That's when the eldest brother had the idea of putting a pot with very hot water in the fireplace. Suddenly, something dark and hairy fell into the pot and got out immediately, screaming in pain. It was the wolf. The middle pig opened the door and the burned wolf ran through it uh, and never bothered them again. Some time later, the younger little pigs rebuilt their homes, but this time following all their eldest brother's advice, of course. And then kids, did you like this story? It's a little bit long, right? But with a lot of adventure. Okay, bye-bye. See you in the next story.